of Religion in Public Life, and we're talking to Dr. Lewis Baldwin from uh, Vanderbilt University. And of course, Dr. Baldwin, before we uh, ended our first segment, we promised mm. that we'd give you an opportunity to uh, talk about the expansion of religion in mm. uh, public life, and let, let us yeah. do that now. Uh, the point I tried to make before the break, of course, is to sort of give some historic background mm -hmm. on this whole issue. Uh, because one of the, uh, many of the questions that confronted the founding fathers, of course, had to do mm -hmm. with the role of religion in public life. Should religion have a role in mm -hmm. government decision making? Uh, should uh, morality have a role yes. in, in, gov mm -hmm. in democratic lawmaking? Mm -hmm. These are the kinds of questions that were raised at that time. Interestingly enough, during the Civil Rights Movement, uh, uh, many of the same kinds of questions were raised. Mm -hmm as Dr. King, Martin Luther King Jr. and others put religion to the service mm -hmm. of their struggle for equal rights mm -hmm. and economic justice and peace. Mm -hmm. uh, should religion be uh, involved in mm -hmm. that kind of in movement? the civil rights movement. Yes, yeah, should it be involved in the civil rights mm -hmm. movement? Should religious convictions play mm -hmm. a role in political activity? Mm -hmm. uh, these are kinds of questions that Dr. King confronted. And interestingly enough, he was able to combine mm -hmm moral religious convictions mm -hmm. with political activity mm -hmm. as he put the church mm -hmm. at the center Good. of the civil rights mm -hmm. movement. Mm -hmm. As you well know, the church became a kind of power base mm -hmm. for Dr. King and others, became a de facto platform, mm -hmm. uh, a social and political base mm -hmm. uh, as they struggle for racial justice, mm -hmm. economic uh, justice, mm -hmm. and, and peace. Mm -hmm. uh, interestingly enough, since Dr. King's uh, time, uh, we've continued to engage in this kind of debate about mm -hmm. the role of religion mm -hmm. in, the, in the public arena. Uh, interestingly enough, after King was assassinated in 1968, mm -hmm. uh, we began to notice in the early 1970s the rise of what we call the religious right. Good. Okay. These are conservative, fundamentalist Christians, evangelical Christians, mm -hmm. uh, who believe in uh, making their religion, what, relevant to mm -hmm. public policy mm -hmm. issues uh, like abortion, mm -hmm. affirmative action, reparations, mm -hmm. women's rights, mm -hmm. uh, public education. Uh, interestingly enough, in the 1970s, we not only saw the, the rise of the religious right or what some call mm -hmm. the resurgence of the religious mm -hmm. right, we also saw a wedding of the religious and the political right. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. Meaning that the more conservative politicians mm -hmm. on the right Mm -hmm. uh, combined, emerged with mm -hmm. uh, religious right people to pursue an, a, a kind of conservative agenda. agenda. Mm -hmm. And interestingly enough, Dr. King was looked upon as a kind of model mm -hmm. by people like Jerry Falwell, who founded the Moral Majority in 1979, mm -hmm. uh, those uh, Christian uh, evangelicals who founded the Religious Roundtable mm -hmm. in 1980, uh, Pat Robertson, Jerry mm -hmm. Falwell, mm -hmm. James Robertson, mm -hmm. all of those who were connected